Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an exciting video. Exciting for me, I guess. Um, I ordered something very unexpected. So I'm gonna tell the story of what I ordered and I'll put the timestamp like somewhere on here where I actually like show you what I got. But let me just tell you uh, what I got or the story of what I got. Okay, so one day I was just minding my own business over on Instagram and a follower of mine, someone that I chat with often, she sent me a picture of a bag. I did not know this bag existed. Well, I didn't know this color existed, let's just say that. Um, it's one of my favorite styles, but I didn't know that this color existed. I always thought it would be awesome if it did, but somehow I did not know it was ever made. So anyway, she sends me a picture of it and it's um, a consignment person on Instagram that she follows. And I followed this person on and off for years. I would unfollow them because there'd be things that I wanted constantly. So I stopped following them so that I wouldn't want things all the time. Anyway, I checked it out, it looked freaking perfect, like perfect. And I had already sold a bag, so I definitely had the money. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I have a hard time because a lot of these shops, you can't return. Like they don't have return or anything. You know, like if you buy from Fashion File, you're covered because if you don't like it, you just send it back as long as you don't cut off the tags. But this one is no refunds, no exchanges. Like you buy it and you're finished. So it made me nervous. Then on top of it, the way that their shop works, their, their shop is called, um, I think it's called Cashmere Consignments. Cash, yeah, Cashmere Consignment. Um, I'll link them down below also. Um, so the way I guess theirs works is um, people send them stuff and I don't know if they pick the price or the seller picks the price, but either way, the seller gets to pick the way that they wanna get paid. Like PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, you know, all those things, Cash App. I'm not really sure what that one is. But anyway, this specific seller only took Zelle or Cash App. And I was like, oh, Okay, I feel more comfortable typically if I can use PayPal because if you get it, not as described or whatever, PayPal backs you up. But if you pay with Zelle, it comes straight out of your bank account. If you don't get it, you're screwed. But um, what they did tell me was that if you want insurance, you can buy insurance um, for $15 here in the United States or if you're, in uh, if you're in California, it's cheaper, it's 10. I'm not really sure why, but um, and you can get the insurance. And she said, if you get the insurance, Oh, Loki, no, Loki, he's scratching in the mirror, Loki. Um, if you buy the insurance and then anything happens, they will file the claim and then pay you for it. So I mean, it did make me feel a little bit better, but I was still kind of nervous. Like, what if I get it and it's not good? So yeah, I was super nervous. Um, I showed it to my husband and he was like, get it. He was like, I, if, if this bag, it's, it's you like this bag, no bag could be more perfect than this one for you. Like minus my multicolor ones. And then when I was like, I don't know, he would ask me a few days later to buy the bag. So I was like, okay. Or actually like a day later. Cause I only waited a few days. <laughs> anyway, I did show this to other, to a few other friends on Instagram and all of them were like, it looks great. Just do it. And there were a few spots and the seller said that they were like dust or whatever. And I got it and it really worked. So, whew. okay. So it was supposed to come on Monday, this coming Monday, but I got this notification that it got to the post office. So I went there this morning and they were like, no, it came in with like thousands of other things. So it hasn't been like received by us really. I was like, darn it. So like, you'll get it Monday. Well, they let me write down my number and the lady called me and was like, I was able to receive it. Do you want to come get it? So I got it. Um, let me tell you what it was listed as, okay. It was listed on their page as beautiful. Leather is clean and shiny, no cracks, color transfer, or scratches. So now you know it's a leather bag. Um, clean inside, gold hardware, shiny and in excellent condition. Corners, corners are amazing too. Handles are great, excellent condition. Perfect color for summer. Comes with a dust bag, crossbody strap, clochette, and the key. Can be worn as crossbody as well. So there you go. So let me show you guys what I got. Okay, are you ready? I got, ah! It is the Speedy 25 in Empreinte. 
the color is saffron so this definitely looks different than my saffron that i have in my belmont which is more orange this is like a true mustard this is so much like my mark jacobs bag like ugh, now it's like i shouldn't have bought the mark jacobs bag but i didn't know that this existed like i didn't know this was a thing ugh, and it's so beautiful the only issue that i can find is um where's it at um there's a little bit of overglazing on the handle on the side, just a little bit of overglazing. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think on just one side there's a little bit of overglazing. But so my thing was, because I had saw a few spots, actually the seller pointed it out, I didn't. So they were very honest. And I was like, well, what are those spots? And she wasn't sure, because there's two of them that run the shop. So she asked the one that had the bag, and she said it was just dust. But my initial concern was, is it a gouge in the leather? Because you can't fix that. Or actually, I don't know. I don't know if Louis Vuitton can fix stuff on the leather. I might actually be wrong on that. They might be able to. I know they can't on canvas, but maybe they can on leather. I, I'm really not sure. But I did know that they can fix like glazing. So if something happens with the glazing, I can send it and pay to have it fixed. But I didn't think at the time. I was thinking, well, if it's the leather, they can't fix it. But anyway, I, there's nothing wrong with leather. She said it was dust and truly was because there's nothing there. So um, I ended up, we had to go to uh, my daughter's soccer. So on the way there, we stopped. I grabbed the bag, opened it up and immediately put my stuff in. So my stuff's in it right now. So you can see the sag that it has. Oh, it's just so good. I love that it has the zippers that go down on the side and it's got the two zippers. It's a pretty zipper pull. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Now, I don't remember. I said it came with a lock because I did not find a lock. The key is on the pochettes. I don't, yes, yeah, so the keys are here, but no lock. I don't know if they said that that was included. So there are the keys in here. Let me look and see if it said the lock. comes with it. No, so clochette and the keys, but it didn't say the lock, which is weird because who would sell this and not include the lock, but include the keys? I'm not sure. Um, I can always buy another lock, although honestly, I don't think this needs one on it. I mean, it would go right here. As you can see, it would go right there, but there's one on each side. I just don't think it's necessary. I'll probably ask her, but... Um, yeah, I don't think it really matters. Um, so let me show you the details. So it's the 25, so it's the same size as all the other speedy 25s out there. Um, the clochette is here with the key inside. Um, it says, oh, she's got so many good details that the canvas one doesn't have. The hardware over here, it says Louis Vuitton on the side. You can see the deep embossing it's got all over the whole bag so the whole thing is still deep um the rivets here say louis vuitton on them it's got the stitching underneath the handle of course the bottom has a giant piece and then it's got four feet the side is the same as the normal bandoliers so i think the hardware right here says louis vuitton on it the um, hook thing is nice and big. Let's see, does that say anything on it? Yes, it says Louis Vuitton on that side. And then we have the zipper pull right here. The zipper pull says Louis Vuitton, and it's got this nice big piece, and it's got that on both sides, so there we go. There's two of those. The strap says Louis Vuitton on the hardware there. Now inside is my favorite because I've got all my stuff in it, but you've got this beautiful mustard lining with the lines. This one is made in France. You've got the zipper pocket, which is a nice big zipper pocket. And the date code is in here. Let me tell you what the date code is. SP2173, so it was made in the 27th week of 2013. 
I don't have anything in there right now. The zipper pull to the pocket is also beautiful. And it has the same like pull on there. My dog's trying to get up here and see it. Um, on the other side, you have two flat pockets. Whoops, there you go, you can see it. You got two flat pockets. Right now I have gum and lotion in it. But it's so good, right? It's so me. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Um, there's like a little bit of scratching on the hardware, but whatever. And these things retail, oh my gosh. I don't know, I looked up on Fashion File. I have to look it up again to see what they retail for, but it's a lot. And this, she told me like it wasn't in new condition, but I can't, I can't figure like, it's pretty, pretty damn new looking to me. Like the leather is just so good. There's zero corner wear, like a little bitty little spot right there. And that's just like, oh, you wouldn't even be able to see it. There's no way you could see that. Yeah, there's no way you could see that. It's very, it's almost like I could have done it at the grocery store. It's not color. There's zero color transfer. It's just like, uh, like it scratched maybe a little bit. Ugh. So perfect. I freaking love it. And it's so comfortable. But then again, I love the Speedy anyway. So we already knew that I loved the 25. I have the Speedy V25 and I, I freaking love it. I use it all the time. And I can see myself using this one a ton now too because it's mustard. I'm so excited. I, I didn't really know if I wanted to do an unboxing or reveal or what I wanted to do. Um, and then I couldn't do the unboxing because I couldn't wait and I wasn't gonna wait. Like the, I wanted to open it. Like I wasn't gonna wait, you know? And yeah, I know a lot of people aren't into reveals and unboxings anymore. And to be honest, sometimes I'm not either. It just kind of depends on what they're getting. Come here, Loki. Here's Odin on the other side. Um, it just It's what they're getting and if I think they really like it, I don't, I don't know. So I'm not always into them either, but I had to share this one because I was so excited. But yes, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.